I have my mobile app that allows me to see the different stories that I have uh, created from my WordPress site. And then, uh, of course, it's a sports app, so I can see a table of the teams and the points they score. I can see the top scorer of the day or of the whole season. And it has a picture, the names, what team they play from. And also I can see those who have assisted the most, uh, equally with the picture, the team, and name that they come from. So all this data that I do get it from a, a simple plugin that I use called Sportspress and Sportspress for football. Currently this information, I have to get it via the REST API. But I've found that the REST API actually makes so many calls to the server and sometimes it's slower. And having tested with a GraphQL to my React Native app, I am able to realize that uh, if I turn all of this content into a GraphQL uh, endpoint, to my GraphQL endpoint, I'll be able to have faster data coming from SpotRefresh uh, onto my mobile app, and thus faster connection and faster content. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start examining how I can actually get this to work in my app, in my mobile app that's running on React Native, and how I can use GraphQL to have one endpoint and call all that data that I need uh, uh, in a necessary way. Most of this information comes in in my sports, sports press uh, plugin that I've configured and has seasons, it has different leagues that are available and now I can create matches and in the matches I can be able to call in the different teams, assign them scores here in uh, the small meta boxes and how many minutes of the game there is, where they're playing from, the league, uh, the season, uh, the team players, and I am able to actually get uh, proper data of what's going on. For example, this is a game that went on, and I've recorded all this information in here. You can see who scored, who has some cards, who has own goals, and all this information is stored as a post type of matches. You can see the different... Uh, Taxonomies for grounds where these would be played. You see uh, a different custom post type for the teams, and I've added the teams there. They also have their own information in here. Uh, for example, where they're playing, what table are they playing, some information about them. You can see the players' custom post types where you see a player having a lot of information attached to them, where they're from, their position, their current teams, their league, and their height, their photo, all of this is already stored, just like this um, in my Sports Press app. So we also have a portion for the staff. I'm able to see the staff and see more information about them. Now I'm going to try to expose this one to my GraphQL endpoint, and I'm going to use a WP GraphQL, which is a plugin that's written by Jason Ball. Who is now currently working with Gatsby and what happens is that with a, something like GraphQL I am able to just post a JSON-like query to my endpoint and I'll get back exactly the data that I need without necessarily getting back all the loose information that the REST API actually provides for me, yet I do not need it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to Download, we're going to go to the docs of our WP GraphQL. You can find them at docs or WP uh, GraphQL .com. And we can install. Uh, so the first thing that we're going to need is uh, we're going to install the WP GraphQL plugin. And then we're also going to install the WP Graph, Graph Fico. Uh, that's with an I, an ID of sorts that will allow us to see our queries just like what we see here uh, going on in this small browser uh, image that's going on, this small GIF uh, going on. So to download the, the plugin, we have to come to the releases to get the stable versions of uh, the GraphQL. So we'll go to the releases and download the zip. Same thing for our IDE that we'll manage in the WordPress admin. We also go to the releases and then pick the the plugin to install. So I'll just go to my plugins here and I'm going to pick up all those uh, uh, 
I'm going to pick up my downloaded uh, zips. So I'll start off with uh, the plugin itself, WP GraphQL, install it, and then uh, of course I'll go back and then uh, add the other, which is uh, the WP Graphical, which is our IDE that's going to be inside, and then I'll activate it. So we are now ready. If we look here, we'll see that uh, we have a WP Graphic Graphical endpoint just showing up. So after setting up our WP GraphQL, we shall have a site uh, on this uh, local address, which is of course the usual, uh, our usual address for our website. And then when we have enabled our WP GraphQL, when we come to this endpoint, we actually get this information showing us that we have to query uh, for this endpoint for us to get back any data. And right now we can't uh, use it because uh, we don't have, our browsers do not consume this content like this. However, if you're using things like React or React Native, there are particular packages that can be able to create our GraphQL uh, queries and we can get back the data uh, as needed. So for now, just use the IDE that is in the administration area to see what we are working on. So WP GraphQL by default um, allows us to access all this information uh, by default. For example, I could do a query and in my query, I'm going to look for the menus and inside the menus, uh, I'll just play this and see what we get. There's still more information we need, so we need to get the edges. After the edges, we'll get the nodes, the node, and just play here. So we have an ID already there. As we type, we actually are able to get the count. We can also get the ID, we can get the names, we can get the menu items, and then when I hit play, I'm able to see all this information coming. But right now I don't have any <coughs> sort of uh, menus, so I'll just try to get the posts and see how this uh, comes out. So we'll just get the title and then I'll hit play here and we'll see that when we query for posts, we actually get back our title of hello world, or if we look for pages, and hit play, we get back that we have all these pages coming from uh, the sample page and all the others that are created by WooCommerce itself as data. So that's how WP GraphQL works. You ask for information, you get back information. If you don't ask for it, like if I don't ask for the content, I'll never get the content uh, coming back here. But if I ask for it, then I'm able to get all that information back. So that's how we set up our WP GraphQL. Next we're going to try to see how we can expose our data from the custom post type into uh, our queries right here. Because by default we have all this other information coming in from the WP GraphQL plugin, but now we're just going to extend it to give us more of what we want. So let's jump in into the code.